Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so, so much for joining us on our health and wellness webinar week with One Generation. Um, my name is Niambi Cooper. I'm the director of One Generation Senior Enrichment Center, and we are led by our organization's president and CEO, Jenna Haas. Um, this webinar layout will be composed of us having our presentation first, um, and it will be followed up by questions and answers at the end. So please feel free to raise your hand. It's a function at the bottom part of your screen um, to ask a question to us verbally, or you can use the chat function at the bottom. We'll be definitely checking throughout the presentation to see if you have any questions. Um, and also there is a Q&A box so um, that everyone in the webinar can see. Um, so this presentation is being recorded, so you do have access to watching it again um, from our One Generation newsletter. And if you do not receive our newsletter, that's completely fine. Um, you can give us a call at our office number. I can place that into the chat box and we can get you signed up today. Um, so I'm super excited to um, present to you Stephanie Gomez. Um, she is a LADWP community outreach partner and she will be presenting on summertime savings. So have you guys noticed that your utility bills are just skyrocketing right now over the past month or so? Um, so Stephanie is going to explain to us why this happens and she will also teach us some tips and rebates that can help us reduce our bills. So welcome Stephanie, we're so excited to see your presentation today. Hello everyone, thank you Niambi. I'm really excited to just start the summer off with some saving tips. I know that during this time we're using our AC more and this is just a snippet into the types of programs and webinars that we host uh, bi-weekly here at One Generation. So this is um, just the beginning. I'm actually starting my first webinar on July 7th. So let's get started. I hope that we leave and have some takeaways from here today, but let's see what we're in for. I just pressed mine and it didn't do anything. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's give it a second. Um, well, a little bit about myself is this is my second year working on our Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Community Partner um, Grant. And this is a grant that helps us educate our community and share resources about saving on your utility bills, which I am really excited for because I really enjoy helping the community get in touch with resources that are going to really benefit them and provide them with value. Niambi, I was actually trying to press the arrow. Is there maybe a different way to um, try just clicking the screen. We'll hit escape first. Let's hit escape. There you go. Thanks. There we go. Okay. Wonderful. So right here in this side, I'm holding up a plant. Another thing that I really love to do, one of my hobbies is gardening and growing vegetables. Um, and I will be talking about one of the awesome programs that LADWP has to encourage us to plant more native California friendly plants. So today we're going to be looking through why are your bills so high and our goal really is to learn how to lower them through things that we can easily do at home. So these are the features for today we're going to be talking about energy and water saving tips. We will be sharing some LADWP rebates and programs. I'm only going to be sharing three of them. They have about 20 rebate programs, but today we're only talking about three. Um, then we have our discount rates. We have one gen trivia nights and one gen energy challenge, which I'm excited to share about. You may know where you are. This started right away. This is going to give you a little background. It's about two minutes. It's an LADWP bills through the roof and it tells you why and it's actually based on um, the San Fernando Valley. Billions today. Food insecurity is real. Join so we have to watch this really great ad by ABC7 first. Food bag and you'll help families in need. Healthy SoCal. The summer heat may have left us, but water and power bills are causing. I want to make sure that everybody can hear. Niambi, could you confirm in the chat if everyone can hear? Oops. Oh, no. 
guys are brothers. I guess sometimes you just grow apart. Hey, Luckily, you get a second chance at... The summer heat may have left us, but water and power bills are causing a different kind of heat stroke. It's huge. I can afford that. The bills have just been astronomical. Oh, my God. How I look to pay now? It's all my sensors are getting this small. Countless L.A. Department of Water and Power customers were caught off guard by the outsized bills, some of them in the thousands of dollars. This summer was especially problematic. It was very hot for a very long time. In the evenings, it wouldn't cool off. And so customers tended to leave their air conditioning on a lot longer. Sharon Groves is in charge of DWP's customer service division. She brought a conservation expert to this Northridge home. Where the owners were hit with more than a thousand dollars in charges over two months. We don't keep lights on when we're not in a room, our lights are off. The temperature's up to 70, 78. 78. I mean, we're really mindful of that. Yeah. But hot weather is only partly to blame. Back in 2015, DWP did pass a series of rate increases, which now get tacked on every summer. For five years, every July 1st, the rates inch up a little bit. And then there's this section of the bill, tiered pricing. Go over the initial electric and water allotment from DWP, and the prices jump even higher. So not only are you paying more for the extra electricity, but you're paying a higher rate for it. And in a heat wave, that could add up to a lot of money. You take notice when you're doing your bills each month, you're like, whoa. All righty, so I'm going to leave it right there. Um, so as mentioned, they do increase our bills a little each year. But also you see that increase in the summer because as they mentioned, they started in July 1st. And then they also have the tier levels, tier one, tier two, tier three. And based on what tier level you are, that's going to increase the price of your bills as well. I am going to be hosting a webinar that's just going to be focused on how we can read our bills and just make sure that we maintain active and can decrease them and see and ask LADWP about our bills more with questions that actually are about our bills rather than just giving a general. We actually have a example of it right in front of us. So let's start with some energy and water saving tips. Right here in the pictures, I put beware of vampire suckers and vampire suckers are any appliance that's going to be running 24 seven, such as electrical ovens, your refrigerators are running 24 seven, even your coffee makers, if they're plugged into the wall are running 24 seven, even if they're off, if your coffee makers have a clock on it, it's 24 seven. And then we have our thermostats up here, which I will be talking a little bit about. So you see our original thermostats, and then you have our newer thermostats that you can connect to your smart devices. And you can actually send from wherever. No worries, because you have the Nest. These are two ways that we can save energy is by our central air conditioners. Our central air conditioners are going to probably be the number one cost suckers from your appliances, especially in the summer. So as you can see here, a central air conditioner on average cost about $75. And then the refrigerator monthly cost is about $30, but this depends on whether it's an energy efficient one or not. So the central air conditioner monthly costs $75. And one of the ways to ensure that your thermostat is energy efficient is by either making sure that you always stay at about 75 in the summer, 75 degrees, or right here they say 78. So it could be between 75 and 78 in the summer and then 78 degrees in the winter. You can also install a smart thermostat. Right now, LADWP does have a rebate for them. So if you buy it, I believe they give you about $75 back. They also have a program that 
if you already have a nest and you haven't signed up for this program, you can actually sign up and they give you about $150 in an Amazon gift card. That's what they did last year. But what program you're signing into means that they're going to adjust your thermostat. You give them permission to adjust your thermostat about five to six times and they do it based on when the energy is being used at the highest rate in LA County. So that's when they adjust yours, but they also give you the dates. So it's not just out of nowhere they adjust it. They do let you know beforehand, which is very um, considerate. And I think it just makes the process a little bit more um, trustworthy. Then we have the refrigerator monthly cost, some ways to reduce or to make help keep your refrigerator running in an in an energy efficient way is that you can clean the coils regularly. They do say to do this during the summer. Make sure that you close your refrigerator and that the seals are airtight. If you notice that your seals are kind of falling apart, it's probably a good time to start changing out those plastic seals and replacing them for new ones. So that so another thing to note is that you LADWP does have an energy star efficient recycling and exchange program, but due to COVID it is currently unavailable just temporarily, but you may add your name to the list if you have been looking into replacing or um, exchanging your refrigerator, I can definitely add you to the list. So here are some ways to save. So we are going to say bye bye to vampires. So as I mentioned before, these are any appliance that use your electricity 24 hours a day. Another great tip is to unplug. So we're going to unplug our coffee makers when we're not using them or if this is just not something that makes you feel comfortable, then you can purchase a power strip. They have smart power strips now that you can actually also link through Bluetooth with your phone so that you can turn it on and off automatically. And it just makes sure that it turns off any electronics that you may not be using. Maybe you left your laptop charger plugged into the wall that's still sucking up energy. Maybe you left your phone charger. Anything that's plugged into the wall when you're not using it is still using up your energy. So having a power strip that automatically turns off or it's just a flip of a switch and it turns off five appliances will definitely help break the habit of leaving them plugged in all day. Another great thing to know is that LADWP does have its peak hours. So these are the hours of the day to avoid washing, to avoid having your lights on. Pretty much you want to just from 1 to 5 p.m. If you are using your electronics during this time or you're running a washing machine or you're running your dishwasher, this is going to have an impact on your bill. It's going to show that you use most of your energy during peak hours. So I recommend that from Monday through Friday, from 1 to 5 p.m., use that as your relaxed hours where you do not wash. Um, you, The best time to wash would be in the morning right before 1 p.m. or in the evening after 5 p.m. We could take a moment here if anybody wants to add in the chat box of what you already might be doing that helps you save some energy at, in your home. Whether you already have a power strip or if you already have the nest or the smart thermostats or you just or you're a person who does clean your AC conditioner coils and refrigerators. So taking about 30 seconds, if you'd like to add into the chat. Nice, using power strips. I definitely started using power strips last year. 
when I just realized that I plug in everything all at once. Ooh, washing in the morning. I think, I think that's a great start to the day. It makes your house smell really nice early on. LADWP also does have some really cool power strips and they give you a rebate for them. So usually the power strip would be $32 and then they give you a $15 rebate. So you get a high tech one for $15. Alrighty, awesome. Thank you for adding to the chat box. Okay, so we have a little trivia time. This is according to the EPA. So how much water does the average person use in a day? We have A, 20 to 40 gallons, B, 50 to 70 gallons, or C, 80 to 100 gallons. This is an average person. Let's see what we come up with. We have B, 50 to 70 gallons. When I first, another B. All right, drum roll please. So we actually use 80 to 100 gallons one person one person and and this is actually because of our toilets we're gonna go into it right now on this picture that i'm showing is actually me watering my my bed which those were strawberries and now we have strawberries but i digress moving forward okay so i added some really nice pictures for you all look at this dirty toilet over here and then we have the sprinkler, the rotating sprinkler, which is actually very inefficient. And then we have this beautiful washing machine right here. So this, are water, this is for water. Did you know that our sprinklers, sprinklers alone can use up to 35,000 gallons of water? Mm-hmm but this is for the County of Los Angeles. And then cost savings per year, just switching out your sprinklers, instead of having the pop-up sprinkler fans, which you see right here in my picture, if you use one with the rotating finger stream nozzles, that's what's going to help you save some money. And then we have, and it's because you have more evaporation when it's just spinning out of control like that. Whereas your finger stream, it's very intentional where it's pointing and rotating towards. Then we have leaks. So whether it's a toilet leak, a faucet, an irrigation, just fixing these alone saves 10,000 gallons per year. And that is a cost of $80. So right here, it mentions that the average leak in a household is 10,000 gallons per year. And right now we are in a drought. I, I feel like we're always in a drought. We hardly get any water. So just conserving water in LA alone is so important. And we don't recognize that some of the things that we already might be doing like have taking shorter showers, very simple things actually amount to a big difference. Even turning off your faucet when you are brushing your teeth can help save up to three gallons every time. So the way that you check for a leak is you're going to use food coloring. You're gonna pour that into, you're gonna take off the top from the the wash basin and you take it off and then you pour your food coloring in. And if you don't do anything and you see that the blue or whatever colored food coloring you're using is seeping in without flushing or doing anything, then you have a leak. So, you know, just checking on it. Let's go. So here are some ways to save. So again, this one, the replacing, you wanna replace any appliance. This one is 
for electricity. I wanted to keep that there as a reminder, but we actually have a program where you can also replace your toilets in your home. And that one is partnered with SoCal Gas. So if you do have a toilet that might be using 30 gallons of water, you know, for your flushes, it might be time to check up on a new toilet. Then, as I mentioned, turning off your tap while you're brushing your teeth, washing your face, shaving can save three gallons every time. And again, peak hours is another time to avoid washing during these times. What are some ways that you currently are saving water? I'm gonna give you 30 seconds if you want to share. Some ways that I save water or that I've noticed that I just do, I take, I try to take between five and seven minute showers. It sounds impossible, but it is possible. And so that's what I do on my end. I remember that my grandma would always get a container, a large container, and then put it inside while she was washing her produce. And that's how she would save money and water. She would just put all of her produce into the water bucket with some apple cider vinegar, and then she, would, she wouldn't have to have the sink running the whole entire time. Alrighty, these are free water conservation items that are given by LADWP. And they do tell you that on average per minute, we use 1.2 gallons. Like if our faucet's on for one minute, that's already one gallon of water. So this helps you reduce that to half of that, if not half of a gallon. So the bathroom faucets, we have kitchen faucet aerators and shower heads. You may have already gotten these. Let's see, I'm checking in the chat. But if you would like to order these, you can order these with myself. There's no amount to how many you can order for your household. Let's get into rebates and programs. I'm only going to talk about three, as I mentioned in the beginning. LADWP does have about 20 rebate programs, but I, I wanted to share just three, not overwhelm you. My bi-weekly webinars that are starting in July, July 7th will be our first one. We really go deep into particular rebates. So that's what I'm looking forward to as well. So here are a few to start. We have the turf replacement program where you may receive up to $15,000 back in rebates when you replace your grass. We also have what's called the share solar. This is to be considered for renters actually. And then we have window air conditioners. So replacing to an energy efficient one we still have the air conditioner replacing, but we do not have the refrigerator replacements right now. So this is called the New Yard Initiative by LADWP. Right here, you see this beautiful home and it's actually showing you California natives. Then we have succulents. I really love, you know, you go from drab Grass is beautiful, it is green, but when you can have color in your front yard and be using less water to maintain it, it goes to fab. So we are more drought tolerant. So the way that this project works, they, LADWP, first you're going to have to take pictures of your whatever area you want to replace your grass you're going to send those. It's, it is a, just like a process where they just wanna see your before pictures. And then you're gonna send that over. Then you're gonna have an LADWP contractor who's gonna come 
check it out, make sure that your project is set to go. And then you can also have references, recommendations for California friendly plants. All this is also on their website. And I'm gonna have a whole webinar that's just based on the new LA Yard. This is one of my favorite uh, projects and initiatives that LADWP has. It's actually how I started my backyard farm. Um, and now we have, what else? They give you some tips on what you can do to transform your lawn, where you can mulch and ground cover to help retain moisture in the soil. You can also have rain capture, which it, whether that's a rain barrel, a cistern, or a trench. Also, if you install drip irrigation. So these four methods, if you integrate all of these four into your project, this would be considered acceptable for the turf replacement program. What I use for our backyard farm, I was sharing this with Niambi earlier because the amount of water that you need for certain vegetables and throughout the year does change because in winter it's colder so they don't need as much water, whereas summer super hot and they need help retaining their soil. So we do have mulch all throughout our garden and then we also have drip irrigation and we have our drip irrigation on automatic and it's about 30 minutes per day, but that's enough for it. Some days we do water by hand, but for the most part, it's all automatic. Renters wanted. This is a new solar project that LADWP is offering for renters. Whether you live in a multifamily dwelling, a complex, I mean, a duplex, you can, what this will help you do, you would be part of this solar project. It's called Shared Solar for up to 10 years. This is what the program participants subscribe to. So throughout your rental period, whether you're going to be renting for the next 10 years, it's also transferable. So it doesn't matter if you move out of your apartment complex and you go to another one, if you're still in the LADWP, um, if you're still an LADWP customer, it, it'll still transfer over. And what you can subscribe to is using 50 kilowatts or 100 kilowatts of energy monthly. And this energy is going to be supplied from the new solar power plants that have been constructed in the LA Basin. So it's billed at a solar rate. I also put the number here if you wanted to call them directly, but you can also call me and I can help you with the application process. I thought this was a simple and fun way to just one, lower your bill because you're using um, energy supplied by the solar power plant, but two, you're also part of a project and a pilot project that is really encouraging solar energy, especially in LA where it's always sunny in California, right? Okay, another way to save energy, this is our third one, is replacing your AC. It's called Save Energy LA. You may be able to receive a $25 prepaid rebate gift card for recycling your old window AC. You can also receive an additional $50 when you purchase an energy efficient model. You are able to purchase these efficient models. And what I love about the LADWP efficient product marketplace is that you're actually able to see the score that the AC has. So whether it's the 90 or the 80, staying above 80 is what's going to be energy efficient. If you get one that's 60, 75, that's still not going to save you energy. So you do have to choose one that's in the 80s and above. But I have it right here. And the program itself is www.ladwp.com slash retire. This is how the website looks. They try to make it super simple so that as soon as you purchase it, you click this orange button and you claim your rebate and they will 
either, either it'll be online or they will send it to you. But this is what some of the categories they have are televisions, thermostats, refrigerators, air conditioners, power strips, washing machines, drying machines. So you will find all that. We're gonna go into discounts now. These are the discounts that are offered by LADWP. You have your low income discount program, your senior citizen disability lifeline rate, life support equipment discount, and your physician certified allowance discount. We're gonna just talk a little bit about the criteria and who qualifies for each of them. So for the low income discount, this has no age requirement and it saves you about $15 per billing period. That's a cup of coffee, that's a meal. And right here, it tells you the household income requirements. So if you're a person of one and you're making gross income of $34,480, you would qualify for this. A two person home, 34,480 still. On my end, we do help you with all of these applications. I have helped fill out multiple ones. The low income discount program, this is the only one that you cannot combine. The following, such as this one, the senior citizen disability lifeline rate, which is also $15. The customers must be 62 years of age. And that's all you need to qualify for this one. But this one can be combined with the life support or medical equipment. And whether it's a dialysis machine, an oxygen machine, these can be combined. This one saves you about 30 per bill period. This one also does not have an age qualification. Then we have our physician certified allowance, PCAD. And this one also saves you about 30 per bill period. This one is if you have a chronic illness, if you have, or someone in your home has, um, is being uh, treated for a life-threatening illness, anything that has to do where they are homebound, they would qualify for this. But you do need a state licensed doctor to sign off and approve it. So in combination, if you had all three of these, it would be about 75 or 60, $65 off of your bill. Again, I do help. I can send all of these to you as well. If you don't have a computer or you don't have a printer, I can just send them to you by mail. No problem. And I can also help you send them out, provide you with some postage stamps. This is just, a, we're getting towards the end. My last spiel is that we are going to be having trivia days with one generation. Right now, this is a question. The average American family household does how many loads of laundry? Dun, 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 they do 400 loads of laundry per year. We are washing our clothes a lot. And this is per household. So we hope that you continue to save with us and you join us at our bi-weekly webinars, our trivia nights where we're going to have prizes. And our first webinar is going to be on July 7th. It will be at 2 p.m. But I'm also taking recommendations on times that work better. I know that I've done some on Saturdays in the mornings from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and those got a lot of great feedback. So I, I really am just flexible on when people can join us and are available. But my contact information is here. It's also on the last slide. Then we have our One Gen Energy Challenge and we are going to be starting this in September. So we know that our LADWP utility bills are always getting higher and our main goal is to help you lower those through a little friendly competition that's going to help us 
manage our rates by also having accountability buddies. It's kind of like the fitness challenge. That's what I was modeling it after, but instead it's using our utility bills. So here's a little bit of the outline of the process. So one, step one, you're gonna provide us your current bill. This sets the tone when we begin tracking your energy and water savings. Step two, you begin taking steps towards reducing your energy and water consumption. Whether you take some of the tips from today, such as not washing or using your washing machine or dishwasher during peak hours. So you stay away from Monday through Friday, one to 5 p.m. That's one of the step two. That's an example for a step two. Another example for a step two would be to install your power strips and make it a habit of just turning off the power strip and not having to unplug all of your devices when you're not using them. And then we go to step three. So once you have been making these small changes at home, we go to step three and we track our progress for two months until next. So then you'll give us your next bill after the two months are up and you submit it to us. And after the final step on our end is we're gonna calculate the savings between teams. It's only one member per household. And the goal is to have a couple households as a cohort. We're only going to do about four to six of these. And whoever or whatever team save the most money from the first bill to their second billing cycle is going to be either first place $100 towards their bill, second place $70 towards their bill, or third place, which is $50 towards your bill. Another bonus is that you're here right now. The first 25 participants, they must be in separate households, will receive a $10 gift card for signing up and completing this challenge. So remember on your end, you don't have to track anything. We're going to have a convening at the end for the first cohort and kind of just share what we did differently if we saw a noticeable difference in our energy savings. But we really hope that you connect with us and that you join our savings community. I know that sometimes it can be disheartening when we don't see fast upgrades or you know, fast reduction in our energy bills, but it really is a process. So if you wanted to, if you didn't win the first time, you can continue to join in while we still have them. Another thing to know is that if you do have solar power, we are going to have solar power cohort and a separate one, just because there might be a slight advantage there. But yeah, I hope you guys can join us in our weekly webinars, our bi-weekly webinars starting in July, and that you guys will join us in our summer cohort. Well, I'm actually starting it in July. I mean, in September, not July, but I'll be talking about it in our next webinar. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. So I will leave it out for some questions. And definitely you guys can use the Q&A section at the bottom part of your screen, or you can just type it in the chat like we've been doing um, for this presentation, um, or you can raise your hand and you can just verbally ask a question. <laughs> I saw less sit down baths. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it you would use a lot of water just doing that over and over, you know, some people, you know, multiple times a week and it's like, okay, well, maybe that would be like gallons of Right, or using that water and it would be considered gray water. And if you don't have a vegetable garden and you just have um, native plants, you can use your gray water to, um, wa to water them. Yeah. But yeah, it would be using a lot. I don't have a bathtub, so I don't have that. <laughs> just, who, who has a bathtub nowadays? <laughs> LA bathtub. It's com combined, you know shower bat, shower and tub together so i'm like that's a luxury <laughs> <laughs>
Well, if no one has any questions, um, Stephanie, she does have her email um, here on the screen and she also has her telephone number. And also don't forget, you can sign up, like she said, um, for her presentations going forward. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot of tips today. Of course, if you have any questions, you can definitely give her a call and um, she will respond uh, really quickly to you guys. So um, Stephanie, thank you so much for your time. You're always so amazing. Um, I really appreciate you for joining us today. Thank you, Niambi, for having me. Uh, enjoy everyone if you're staying for the next Health Siri panelist. Um, have a great day, everyone. Yes, everyone, please stay. Um, we will have a super educational presentation about elder fraud um, with FBI Los Angeles. Um, so trust me, you do not want to miss it. Um, we will actually start um, at 10 a.m. Um, and uh, so just probably just take a little stretch and then you can come back and um, we would definitely get started. I think you someone has a question. Let's see.